Mental illness is something that many people can relate with, especially because now in this generation, all of us are either close to someone who has experienced mental illness or we've seen mental illness portrayed in things like television, for example, 13 Reasons Why. This is a series called Art of the Mentally Ill, where I take my experience with mental illness and I turn it into pieces of art for all you to enjoy. Today, we're going to be going over two specific aspects of my mental illness. One, paranoia because of my OCD, and two, a feeling of hopelessness and depression because of my psychosis. I experienced both of those, and um, to put it in very, very simple terms, psychosis is a break from reality where one experiences or believes in things that do not pertain to reality. So, uh, OCD is where you have obsessive compulsive feelings. You feel anxious if you don't fill out those compulsions. Very, very simple way of describing it, I know, but that's just to get this little intro out of the way. This is Art of the Mentally Ill, where I take my experience with those mental illnesses and I turn it into art. And I notice that a lot of people actually enjoy watching my stuff when I turn it into art. So, without further ado, I've been talking on for way too long. I've had a lot of experience in my life in mental illness, and I hope this, these pieces of art are able to show you what it's like to live in me, in my body. In me? <laughs> this is what I like to call the multi-faced horror. I call it the multi-faced horror because it's an expression that I use to portray what life is like when you are so helplessly depressed because of your hallucinations, because of your psychosis. This is the feeling that I've... Th I, th I wanted to portray the feeling of what it's like to have very intense symptoms because of a bad medicine reaction and having symptoms that exasperate your psychosis. And I wanted to portray that through the many grueling in pain faces that I'm drawing here. And I'm sort of doing like a freehand kind of thing, just letting my hand flow across the paper. So if that makes any sense, it's based upon the chaos of psychosis. I did take inspiration among other types of art and people who've created art, especially uh, Picasso, because as time goes on, you can see the way that his self-portraits sort of break down into much more chaotic uh, forms of art, and that's sort of where I wanted to take this piece of art. So I hope that makes a bit more sense to you. It's mainly about a feeling, and the feeling of hopelessness and loss of control, rather than a hallucination, like I said before. So let's get on to the next one. This next drawing I want to make, I want to talk about, is called the one with the eyes. I call it the one with the eyes because I wanted to portray the paranoia and the fear that comes with psychosis, and the anxiety and compulsions that come with OCD. The eyes are made to represent, or the eyes that eventually you're going to see me draw are made to represent the paranoia, while the smile is meant to portray the, uh, the uh, compulsion. The compulsion to um, scratch my teeth, or the compulsion to brush my teeth, or the compulsion to keep my eyes open until they start crying, until they start tearing up. Sort of like that. And that is that. Something not a lot of people know about me is the fact that I became extremely paranoid and borderline crazy for lack of better words when I was a junior in high school. I believed that if I were touching the same table as somebody next to me, I would be able to hear their thoughts and they'd be able to hear my thoughts. That's sort of where this paranoia kind of started. It always started with a fear of eyes being everywhere in cracks of windows and the shadows and the hinge of my door and my, uh, not, not doorbell, but my um, doorknob, my door, the keyhole in my doorknob. I would always be scared of that kind of stuff and it really would never make much sense but I had to deal with that, and that's something that I've had to live with with my entire life, and it slowly escalated as time went on. So I wanted to portray kind of the fear of being watched, the fear of being in a place where you're not the only one there, and the fear of that other thing there being something dangerous, something that can hurt you, something that can hurt somebody you love. And that's sort of what I wanted to portray in here. So I hope that makes sense, and I hope you enjoyed. Piece of art. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. I know it's a lot shorter than my other Art of the Mentally Ill videos. I apologize for that. But I am trying to squeegee in a bit more information on everything that I like to talk about. I do understand that people would like to see longer videos of Art of the Mentally Ill, like how my first Art of the Mentally Ill videos are. But we're just gonna have to stick with what we have now. So if you enjoyed, thank you. Please leave a like, comment, whatever. You can do all that funny stuff down below. Uh, that sounds wrong, <laughs> but you can do anything you want down below. And uh, if you're in an emergency, I have emergency links down below. And if you want to talk to someone, my DMs are always open. My Instagram and Twitter are down below. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ahoy ho, malama puno.